Hello, welcome back to the channel. Wow, it's been ages since I've done a video like this. Basically, uh, it's always been gig logs and all the rest of it. Uh, this one is a right quick video about how do you transport your gear. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting a, a little bit long in the tooth. Uh, I don't mind admitting it. Uh, and things are getting heavier and heavier and I want to make things easier and easier. Now, uh, I've just picked up a couple of things over the last few weeks that are making my life somewhat easier. Now, if you follow the channel, you know I ended up having a uh, injury to my knee and um, yeah, blah, 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 but I'm back on the bus now, back on the case. However, I don't do stairs. Stop doing stairs. If there's a, a venue that I need to hump gear upstairs, I ain't doing it. I can't uh, because of my injury. And to be quite honest, I'll get to that stage, uh, that age of my, at that age, if you like. I really don't want to. So, um, however, we've all got to have a few steps now and again. And certainly getting gear in and out of the van. So I'm just going to show you one or two things that I uh, that I use uh, that is making my life so much easier and, and really quite cheaply as well. As you know, I generally use my old camper uh, to go to gigs, which has got a big garage at the back. And I'll show you how I get my gear out of the van. Stick with me. I bought this. Got it off of um, a marketplace. Um, it's called uh, Access Made Easy. It's actually fiberglass, but it's a ramp, but it's got a 250 kilogram uh, load bearing, so uh, easily enough for my gear. So let's, uh, the gear is all on my trolley. Let's get it out of there. As simple as that and on there I've got two subs two tops and a case full of lights so that's first first thing so I will that into the into the gig <coughs> and then uh, if there's some steps going into, up to the gig <coughs> I actually use that ramp as well getting up to the steps so I'm only actually lifting on and off of the trolley once simple as that into the gig off set up back onto the trolley wheel it straight into the van. That's the first thing. Second thing is coming up. Our second thing is this, and I'll just check the, uh, the camera off of the old uh, Doobie 13. And here it is. I'm a <coughs> an engineer or locksmith, my day job. Um, and I like DeWalt stuff. But I saw this in um, on one or two other videos. And I uh, I saw this in Screwfix. And it's a stack, a rolling stack. But it's absolutely superb because it has got pretty much everything in this that I need. On the top here, Click, click. This bit comes off. This top case has got all my DMX stuff in, my Wolf Mix. Cables and my DMX stuff there. Dongles. Nice and safe and light. Second one, click. This, my two wash FX in there, superb, dead easy, and the third case, all my cables and bits and bobs. It's a lift out tray with all bits and bobs in, 
and all my cables, everything that I would need that's in there and extra and spares to be quite honest, carry quite a bit. So that's what I'm using now. So there's the trolley, the speakers, subs, the plates for the, uh, the lighting stands and all the rest of it. Another case there with lights and it all goes up and down this ramp into the trolley. It's sorry, into the van. It's a right quick video um, to let you know how I actually transport my gear about. So um, let me know in the comments below how are you transporting your gear? And this is pretty much aimed at the much more mature DJs among us. Um, don't get me wrong, when I was in my 30s or even my me, me early 40s, I didn't mind. I throw gear about, you know, like anything, 20s, 30s, it don't matter. But, you know, we've got to slow down a little bit, make it a little bit easier for us and uh, and continue because I want to I want to carry on for uh, quite a few years le yet. Been thinking about changing my lighting. I know that those uh, Ape Labs, I've been talking about them Ape Labs before, great great lights no cabling a lot easier to set up but i've invested thousands in my lighting and do i really want to invest more thousands in lighting probably i will but uh, there you go so uh thanks for that watching that little video of mine um like sub subscribe do all that good stuff thank you very much for watching and uh, hopefully give us some comments down below let me know what you're up to and uh, we'll see you in the next one